I'm sure you're aware that the word fairies is very commonly used today. That's honestly though not a very good idea. You see, they hate that word. They hate it when people call them fairies. They prefer to be addressed as things like the good folk, the little people, the good neighbours, the gentry, things like that. And to be perfectly honest, it's quite rude calling them fairies when they've made it very plain that's not what they want to be called. So if they remonstrate with someone who ignores their wishes and calls them fairies anyway, well that's that person's own fault, isn't it? For their rudeness. Now there was a man from County Limerick named Carol O'Daly. And he was a very rude man indeed. He had no manners for his friends or his family. No manners for the people of the town or strangers on the street. And he especially had no manners for the good folk. Whom he didn't even believe in. Now one day he was riding his horse along the road into town past Knockfearna Hill. And as he was riding along he came upon... A person he thought must have been a farmer, riding a white horse, going in the same direction. Being very bored, Carol O'Daly, he turns to the farmer and he says, Sure, where is it you're heading yourself? Ah, well, I'm going up to the top of the hill there. That's a long way to be going. What has you going up there? Ah, sure, I'm just heading up to have a chat with the fairies. You're going... All the way to the top of the hill to talk to the fairies. So that's nonsense. They're not real. Don't be calling them that, said the farmer, very much taken aback by the disrespect Carol O'Daly was showing to the good folk. That'll be a curse on the both our heads. The two fell into uncomfortable silence. They rode alongside each other in tense quiet for several minutes until they came to a fork in the road with a path leading to the top of Knockfearna Hill. And without a, so much as a nod to Carol O'Daly, not even a goodbye, the farmer turned onto this path and rode all the way to the top of the hill. Now Carol O'Daly, he kept riding past until a thaw overcame him. I don't believe he's gone all the way up there to talk with the fairies. That's nonsense. I want to know what he's really up to. So he tied up his horse at the bottom of the hill and he began to creep slowly and quietly up the path, not wanting the farmer to hear that he was coming. When he reached the top, he peered through the hedgerow, trying to catch a glimpse of the farmer. He could see the farmer's white horse dancing and prancing across the grass, but no sign of the farmer himself. Eventually, he lost patience. He shoved his way through the hedgerow to look for the farmer. But all that he could find was a wide, deep, Hole in a cairn at the top of Knockfearna Hill. And he thought to himself, I've heard of the pool dive of Knockfearna. People say it's a doorway to the fairy world. There's no such thing as that. I'll knock on the door to prove it. Now you may be wondering to yourselves, if this is just a hole in the ground, how on earth is he going to knock on the door? Now, but Carol O'Daly, he was a very intelligent man. That's a lie, he was an absolute idiot. He went off and he found a big stone, bigger than the two of his fists together. He hoisted it up above his head and he threw it down the hole as hard as... Jesus. 
he hoisted it up above his head and he threw it down the hole with all the strength he could muster. And he leaned over the hole, listening as the stone clattered off the rocks, trying to hear when it landed at the bottom. When suddenly, the stone shot back up out of the hole with more force than he'd thrown it in with. It smashed him in the face and sent him rolling back down to the bottom of the hill. The next morning, Carol O'Daly woke up where he had landed the afternoon before, next to his horse at the bottom of the hill. His face was all battered and bruised from where the stone had struck him, his front all covered in blood from his nose, and his nose itself was broken in two places. Carlo Daly from that day forward, he never, ever referred to the good folk as fairies ever again.